Hi, I'm Moritz from Romantic Technology. As designers, we always iterate over our models. So today I want to show you how good Raven has gotten at doing just that. So here we are in Rhino and I'll click on the Raven button to pop up the chat window. Then I'll ask it to make a staircase. After a few seconds, we'll receive the Grasshopper model and I'll change some of the sliders to get the kind of staircase I wanted. Now I'm going to ask Raven to add an outer wall to the staircase. Let's offset that wall and I will jump in to manually edit the Grasshopper script a little bit to make sure that this offset wall is solid. I want to add a handrail to the top of the wall so it's nice and rounded. Cool, and now I want to add spherical cutouts to that wall. So I'll ask Raven to make them and then I'll move them up just a little bit so they can cut out in the center of the wall, make sure the values match what I want and here we go, we have our spherical wall cutouts. Now I noticed the handrail isn't actually centered on the wall yet, so let's ask Raven to fix it. Perfect. As you see, I have a pretty complex staircase script here, and I can extend it to as many floors as I want or really change any of the values still. I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna ask Raven to group our geometry, bake it out with just one click, and then I have it in Rhino. So this is native Rhino geometry. I can edit it in here or just send it right off to my 3D printer. And here is how that turned out. As you can see, it was pretty easy for me not just to generate a first model, but to really iterate over it and build up that complexity step by step. And also, I was always able to jump back in and do some manual edits to make sure the model is exactly what I need. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, you can go to romantic.technology and test Raven for free right now. And also, make sure to follow us on our social media channels and check out our subreddit to see how Raven is changing CAD. Thank you.